Good morning. I just wanted to touch base and I wanted to give you a little background of my brand. As you can see, I'm wearing a um, one of a de kind design that I created and made myself. I am a very creative person and I love to create beauty in a world of darkness. I love to create and put out a good vibe. Even if around the world there's a lot of darkness and even in my own um, everyday life, I know that by being creative, I can channel and bring light into the darkness. I also do a YouTube channel, which I do a lot of, um, all I can think of is like a variety show. So there's stuff that I ran about, there's stuff that I poke fun at. Um, I let my character from my books come out and I share my YouTube. But what I really want to talk to you about is the first and the foremost thing that I have learned and have come to realize that I cannot live without or that I cannot ever stop doing. So I want to share with you basically two books. Um, this one I called Write White Orchids. Um, I am very impressed and I very much love how this came out. Um, originally, there was supposed to be a plantation of some kind like in the back or like an old plantation like you see in Chainsaw Massacre. But the way they did this with just the fields of cotton, like very simple white covered with the yellow, um, this was probably after, somewhere later in like the books where I did... I've done 25 books with Amazon alone. So out of the 42 books that I've done, and when I say that out loud, it's, you know, some may say, well, it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not. Um, I truly thought that one day I'd do a book and it would fizzle out. Never in my wildest dreams did I think three years later from the time that I started doing books that I would have 42 books and count it. Um, Amazon continues to do more books and wants more books. So I am just thrilled that God gives me another book. I am always working on new books. Um, and the topics have ranged from faith and poetry to mental illness to being a cancer caregiver to my struggle with anxiety and stress in life. And up, a lot of times feeling like I'm alone, even though the cancer is gone, the year of recovery has not been easy and it will never be the same again. And I have accepted that. I have to accept that. I have no other choice. So my books are my outlet to deal with my anxiety and the struggle I face because I don't want you or anybody that's going through something think that they're alone. So with White Orchids, um, this book, I believe is just it's one of my favorite as far as covers go um and there is a little more character development and i do like how they broke it down in chapters and when it's all said and done i believe that this book was over two or three hundred pages which now it brings you to the latest book. This book, On My Way to the Gates, I kind of return to a little bit of faith and poetry like I first started when I write, started my writing career as an author. And when I first did the books as an author, I did basically faith and poetry, but now I said I've branched. But this was kind of, I wanted to get back to faith and poetry a little bit. Um, the newest book, Scary Struggle and God's Love um, is what I'm working on now. The next book kind of goes back to Faith and Poetry a little bit, and then I'll go back to um, more current events. So Scary Truths and God's Love is because when I forget, um, I got to remember that God loves me. So this book is the most recent, and I, the last time I checked... This book had 622 pages. Life's never easy. Life's a struggle. 
But on my way to the gates and to heaven, I hope that I will never be who I was yesterday. But I'm always working towards progress of being somebody better and somebody that can have an impact on your life and help you get through those days. And 600 pages, the good thing is I already know what it says, so I don't have to read it. But this is my official copy. Um, I have a place where I have all my books, and it amazes me that after one book that didn't stop, that I can look and see a row of 42 books with my name of different sizes and thickness. Um, the one that I did, the highest book I ever wrote was 800 and some pages. So 62, or 622 really doesn't seem like a lot. But check this book out on Amazon.com or anywhere you buy books. There's a lot of good wisdom in it. And it's not just because I wrote it. It's because it came from the heart. And you'll get something from it. Trust me. So, um, as I said, I am an author. I design jewelry. And I do videos, and I have a YouTube channel. I'm a brand, and the church didn't want me to be a pastor because I was gay. But I know, at the end of the day, God loves me with all my flaws. But he gave me the gift of creativity in my jewelry, in my YouTube, and TikTok. He gave me empathy, and he gave me the love of humanity and life which come through book after book. 622 pages to 800 really isn't that bad to do. But if you need healing and you need help, you're not alone. Either of these books are on Amazon.com. And look for new books and new stories and new questions. And if I make you think, great. If I make you laugh, Great. If I make you believe again, even better. But more than anything, if I get some kind of reaction out of you, then I've done my job as a humanitarian and as an influencer. Amazon.com. You can find all my books anywhere you can. And you can go to Gov Rensselaer Falls, New York, and find 12 of my books in a local boutique. Check out More to Love today because not only are they there for plus size women, they also carry 12 of my books. Your friendly local artist and author. Have a great day. I have to go create some jewelry.